Good morning all, it's Ian here from the Sports Start, sports Card Side Hustle coming to you with another grading review. This is a value plus order, so what does that mean? Is there $40 a card? Still same uh, value limit, I think, up to $500, but you can get them a little quicker. Um, <clears throat> it's like 20 days instead of 50 days. And I I like these two cards. I thought they were kind of hot, so I, I wanted them back in a little bit more time. I didn't put them in the bulk order where I had like 30 cards in the bulk order. But um, anyway, I already know the results, and they're a little bit weird. So I'm going to show you, go over them, and I'll tell you I don't get charged for one, but I'm going to try it again. It makes no sense to me, and it's happened to me before. So I have a Patrick Mahomes downtown, and then I have a... Um, uh, Sorry, Bryce Purdy, light blue prism rookie. So if I go to reveal here, first card is that Patrick's Mahomes downtown, and I get this weird didn't meet minimum size requirement. That's happened to me now a few times at PSA, and it's the second time it happened to me with a downtown, <laughs> excuse me, where they supposedly measure them, and they're not within the measurement standards of, that they're supposed to be printed. And... Last time I got it back and I laid it against another downtown, it was exactly the same size. I sent it back in for grading and I got a PSA 10. So weird to me, I don't know what happens there, but since they don't charge me. It told me in the um, grading receipt and I didn't get charged for that card, but I will try again. The other card might not let me do it that way because of um, the grading reveal doesn't really work that well. Okay. so. I got a PSA 9 on the Brock Purdy Prism Light Blue. So that's his rookie. Not bad. I'll take a 9. A 9 never diminishes the value from Raw. It's not a big increase, but a bit. So I have, I have that 9 of his for Light Blue. Now let's go look at that Mahomes and why I kind of still do want to grade it. You see the Raw, last Raw was sold for 515 There was an outlier, a low one in the low 4s there. But they've all been mid 400s to mid 500s lately and for the raw ungraded and here's what i got it for i got it that i was getting in on this card when it seemed like the chiefs were barely getting into the playoffs as a lower seed won the weakest division and people were down on the chiefs thinking they weren't going to do much or go far and so i'm like i i saw the price dip i checked the charts and i bought this card for 3.99 and now you know rots we've seen sales as high as 550 recently so i'm happy to have that if we look at the data, um, more of the data over here, nine, last nine was 620. It's kind of still peaking and going up with another Super Bowl title. And 10, near 1,000. So I would like to have that created. I don't see any blemishes. It looks like a 10 to me. Downtowns have a very high gem rate. If you can see in the same recent period, there's five tens showing up and about five nines. So maybe it's about even. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't always tell with the sales though. If you look at, and the sale numbers are even, people might be holding on to those tens. And when you go into the graded data, there's actually a lot more tens graded than nines. So anyway, that's my grading review. That's what I'm thinking, why I'm gonna send it back. Let me know what you think. Should I send it back? Should I wait? Um, uh, or do, should I assume it's not gonna grade with PSA? I think it will. I think it was an outlier and a grader having a, something weird going on. So anyway, have a good weekend all. Let me know your thoughts. Please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you.